Hello everyone, for today I'm going to customize my Windows 10 with this custom theme and custom icon pack. Now before we start, you need to know what version of the Windows do you have. So in start menu type about, then choose about your PC. Here you can see that my Windows is Windows 10 version 20H2. Now, Another very important step you need to know if you want to apply any custom theme on the Windows it's not only to download a custom theme also you need to know that you need to patch your system to use custom themes you can read this tutorial and here is the how to patch the Windows to use custom themes You can do that with Ultra UX Team Patcher, the app that will modify system files. I have made tutorial on how to patch Windows 10 or Windows 11 for custom themes. In this tutorial, I'm using Ultra UX Team Patcher. Or you can use Secure UX Team. This is the app that will remove signature verification of styles from the Windows. So no system file modification. Also, to apply a custom theme on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you need to have all new Explorer. Also, if you are using Windows 11, you need to have Start All Back. Also, you need to know if you want to apply custom theme completely on the Windows, you need to have all new Explorer. Also, if you are using Windows 11, you need to have Start All Back. For Windows 10, you need to have Start is Back. So here you can see I'm using Start is Back++. Here you can read the most common questions and the issues with the team. Also here is the more extra info. So I will close this and this. Okay. Let's go back to the custom team. Before you download this custom team, you need to have account on DeviantArt. Making account on DeviantArt is free, so when you make account, you will be able to download it. And here is the download button. Also for this tutorial, I'm gonna use 7TSP app. This app will allow me to change the icons on my windows. So here on my desktop, I have this completely custom theme and the custom icon packs and here is the 7TSP app and now before we start to make any changes to the Windows system files in start menu type restore and choose create a restore point here select local disk C or system drive click on create and give it a name Click create one more time. The restore point is created, so I will close this. I will click OK. What I'm going to do, I will extract the files from the WinRAR. And I will delete this. Now I will delete this and also I will extract the 7TSP app. First step that I'm gonna show you is how to install the custom icon pack even i have made many tutorials on my channel how to install custom pack on windows 10 or windows 11 here i will show you how to install this specific icon pack that comes with this custom team first what i'm going to do i will disable my antivirus for one hour Go to this folder and go to the 70SP icon themes. Here is the readme file if you want to read and if you want to know more info about 70SP. So here, as you can see, we have a lot of 7-zip files. And here we have folder icons. Now I will just choose one of the folders, so let's say blue, and you can see how the blue folders will look like after installation.
So I decided to pick these folders. I don't know how to spell this, sorry. So I will go back and here I will rename this and I will hit the enter. Click yes here. Now we have Winrar archive of 70SP custom icon pack. Now go back to the 70SP app and here what you need to do, you need to rename this to the exe, hit the enter, click yes. Now it is really important to run this app as administrator. So now maybe you're still wondering why did I turn off the antivirus? I turned off my antivirus because sometimes when I'm patching the custom icon packs with the 70SP app, the antivirus will stop the patching and it will shut down the app because the app is making a backup of the Windows system files and it's patching the new icons and antivirus is detecting like hack program. So that is a reason why the antivirus is shutting down or closing the app that is making change to the Windows default system files. Anyway, here go to the add a custom pack. Now go to the folder with 70SP icon teams and here you should see Winrar archive of the custom icon pack. And here you should see the selected icons here. Now go to the extra and go to the options. You can uncheck this, create a new restore point when patching because we have already created a restore point. So I will just click save. Also one more info, before I click on start patching, you need to know really important info before you click on start patching and that is you need to have completely default Windows icons before you install custom icon. So that is a really important step to do. You need to have completely default system files when you're patching with 70SP. One day if you want to restore the icon pack to the default Windows icons, the 70SP will only recognize the icons run on the first startup. So that is a reason, please make sure that you have a completely default Windows icons on your system. Now I will click on start patching, I will click yes here. Okay, the patching is done. And now I will stop recording and what you need to do here, you need to click yes, do not click no. You need to click yes to restart your PC and after restarting you should see completely new icons on the Windows. So I will stop recording and I will click yes. After restarting you should get the same message as me, the system has been patched. You can click OK here. So we have done most complicated part in this tutorial and that part is installing custom icon pack. So as you can see, I have a completely new custom icon pack on my windows. Now we can go back to the folder of the team. The first step is done, 70 SP icon teams. The another folder is doc. So if you have a rocket doc, you can copy this and then find the location that you have been installed rocket doc. Go to the skins and paste the folder here. Now go to the doc settings, go to the style and select your visual style of rocket doc. Click OK here. So now because I don't have full bar 2000 pot player and start dock for Windows 10, 
I will skip these folders and I will go to the start all back. This is for Windows 11, but I'm gonna use it for Windows 10 of course. Here we have custom start button that is in SVG format. So like I say, this is for Windows 11, but anyway, I'm gonna save your time. And here in Photoshop, I have this custom start button. I'm just gonna save this on my desktop. I will give it a name. I will save it in PNG format. I will click on save, click OK. Of course, I'm gonna include free download link for this custom start button. Now go to the start is back properties and go to the appearance. Here you have a green little plus. Select it, go to the desktop and select the PNG format of start button. Here select it and click OK. Now here select it and click OK. OK there you go. Now I can delete this. I will go back to the start all back. Here we have styles. I will copy this and here I'm gonna type and here I'm gonna type app data and hit the enter. Now just go one folder back clicking on app data and go to the local. Scroll down to find start is back. Go to the styles and just paste it here. Now I will go to the start is back properties appearance and from here you should see custom start menu and the taskbar. Click apply. Also one more time you need to select custom start button click apply one more time and there you go. I will click OK here. Now here we have some tools and that tool is to remove addressbar.exe. But I'm not gonna use this. This tool is only optional. So I will close this. Okay, now we have start menu, we have taskbar, we have custom icon pack. The last step is to apply a custom team. And here is the custom team. Copy all of it. Go to local disk C, Windows, Resources, Themes, and paste it here. After that, go to the personalize, go to the themes. And there you go, you have a completely new Windows 10 with custom theme and the custom icon pack. Now here I will just delete these folders. We have a few custom desktop backgrounds that goes with this theme. I think that this is really the best one that goes with this theme. Also here I have a system transparency on my Windows and I will go to the setup and info here I will set the level of transparency and I will affect all Explorer windows and I will hit OK. And now I have completely transparent windows. I will just slow down the transparent effect. Okay, you can play around with wallpaper. I have this one that I will set on my desktop. And now with this last step with wallpaper, I have done completely customization of Windows 10. So there you go. We have custom team and we have a custom icon pack and everything is fitting together like a charm. So if you have any questions, so if you're wondering how to restore these icons to the Windows default, 
I will also leave a link to tutorial. The tutorial is made by me, so you can watch tutorial how to completely restore from custom icon pack to the Windows default icon pack with 70SP. So that's it for this Windows 10 customization and see you next time. Bye.